I'm Dan Riskin. It is day four of Wave Warriors Week, and we still have lots of stuff to get you suitably wet, from the answers to our surf intense mind bender to a new robotic rowboat that could just break some records. But first, who doesn't love a boat ride, right? Hair blowing in the wind, soaking up the sun, surrounded by water. The speeding boat, it goes up, it goes down, it goes up, it goes. You okay? Yeah, I'm good. Okay. Maybe if that last part doesn't sound so good anyway, don't oh. worry, there is an answer for that now. Daily Planet got behind the scenes with some boat designers working on smoother rides. Are you doing okay? On any given day, San Diego Bay is a hotbed of activity. And these guys are working on the next big thing. So we're out here today testing different hulls that are fuel efficient, uh, that go fast, but also have a smooth ride. In case you're wondering, the hull is the bottom of the boat. What we're looking for when we do these kind of tests is that undiscovered design. Bill Burns is a designer with M-Ship. We're a naval architecture company, so that means we're involved in designing boats. So we go out on the water and we test these new hulls and they don't always work out. But when they do, then we go back to the office and we start designing a ship around it. And uh, that's the exciting and fun part. With this specially designed platform, they can test hulls on open water. There's no other platform that can do this type of testing. And what it allows us to do is immediately know which boat's going to be better. These boats look small, but they are mighty. It's the exact same shape as the full-size boat, only miniature. It's actually about 15 to 1. So this is going to be about a 100-foot boat, uh, full-size. They'll pit these models head to head. What we have over here today is a conventional planing boat. And it's, it's on recreational boats, military boats. And what we have on this side is the, a new hull. It's called an M hull. This funny-looking hull is one of M ship's breakthroughs. But first, it looked more like this. And we built a boat called a Vaporetto. It's like a water bus for Venice. Every boat that goes up the canal creates a wake that goes out and hits the sides of the canals, and they started deteriorating. So they asked us to come up with a design which might be able to eliminate the wake that comes off the boat. Its hull looks like the letter M. That led to another design, the double M, the Stiletto. The Stiletto is a really unique boat. It has four tunnels. There's only one right now, and the Navy's using it. The idea is to capture the bow wave as it spirals off the hull and it's forced underneath the hull. And as we do that, we capture air and funnel it underneath the hull. This creates a cushion of air and water that actually reduces the friction drag and it also allows us to dampen out the ride. What's the speed? Seven, 6.7. All right, taking data. Today, they're testing the second generation of Stiletto. Today we're testing a model that we think is going to be a future military craft, high speed for unmanned systems. This is going to be like an aircraft carrier or a mothership. Johnny Smullen is our skipper. I really have to keep an eye out all around me. I have to make sure that from a distance away I can anticipate boats coming. Let's see how they measure up. First in calm water. Now let's take it on up to five. OK, going to five. Bow's trimming up a little bit. OK. We've... OK, I'm steady. I'm steady out now at five knots. So what we're measuring here today are all the loads and the forces and the angles and the movements that a full-size boat will experience. Uh, and in order to do that, we have to put special sensors on the boat. They're also recording wave height, airspeed, and sea state. As all this data comes in, Bill can easily gauge how it's going. So over here, we have a big bow wave that's being wasted. That, that's wasted energy. And over here, I see a boat that's actually capturing that bow wave and pumping it underneath the boat to make the boat go through the water more cleanly and more efficiently. Now let's kick it up a notch. We're doing some higher sea state testing here. This is actually the uh, more exciting, fun part of the test. Even though these waves look minor, to the models, they're massive. When you scale them up by 15, suddenly a one-foot wave becomes a 15-foot wave. So this would be a rough day on the water for the full-size boat. That the bow wave on model six is pretty big, and you can see every time it hits a wave, it's slamming into the water and putting out this cascade of, of spray and bow wave. When I look over at Model 8, I notice that the bow wave is being captured and funneled underneath the boat. There's very little spray coming out, and the ride is very smooth. And who doesn't want a smoother ride? If you look at the career of a typical boatsman, 
whether it's a, a driver or an officer or, or an operator on a small boat, 100% will have some kind of disability when they finish their career. So what we wanted to do was to try to fix the problem at the hull. No wonder they've caught the attention of the Navy. One of the problems that the Navy SEALs have is when they go out on a mission in rough water, their spines actually compress as they keep hitting waves. They actually come back shorter than when they started. We had a great day on the water today. Now we're gonna head up to the lab, take a look at the data. The Model 8 actually looks great, exactly how we expected it to turn out. So we're doing something with the design to overcome the wetted surface area. And I think it's gotta be the air cushion and the spiraling of the, the water that makes lift it work. Yeah. The higher speeds, yes. They're on the right track, but there will be more tests before this one gets a pass. So we're trying to explore these new ideas, new ways of, of moving people on the water so you can enjoy your time on the water. And we're all boaters ourselves, so this is something we love, we have a passion for.